Hi, welcome to Camixel Technologies YouTube channel and in this video we are going to see Blackmagic RAW recorded with video assist via Panasonic S5 and you can see the clip name is B RAW which is Blackmagic RAW and you can see the resolution 5.8K and you can see how many audio channels are available, it's around 16 channel and to see more details about it I can go to the metadata and just click the clip and you can see the bit depth is 16 bit and the codec is Blackmagic RAW and resolution is 5.8K and the audio channels is 16. So to take it further, I can go to the edit page and in the edit page, I can just right click and create a new timeline using selected clip. Let's name this as B RAW and just create it and you can see all the 16 channels are over here. So if you're, if you're going to record 5.7.1 or Auto 3D in video assist, yes, that is possible. Up to 11.1 .1 and up to 15.1 channels are possible, which means we have 16 channels over here. And you can record via video assist and take it to your post production. So the next thing is, you can see the image is whitewashed or you can see this is a log. So since we shot in Panasonic uh, S5, it is a log. So to take this straight forward, so I'm going to the settings and going to the color management. And you can see the color science is DaVinci YRGB. So I wanted to change something in the YRGB. I mean, I want to customize it. So I'm going to change this as color managed. And you can choose this method, color processing mode and color output space. So this is available in 17.4.1. Uh, if you're using 17.3 uh, versions, it may look a little bit different, but the concept is same. So I'm going to choose it as HDR. You can, uh, process your colors in HDR and deliver in HDR709. So it's up to you if you want more customized workflow, you can just select this and here you have a lot of processing mode, color processing modes you can choose with. So it's better to go with HDR since we having a lot of room for color grading because it will be future proof as well. So SDR and the moment when I hit save, you can see the image is automatically having a look from the color management system. Since it's a black magic raw footage, DaVinci Resolve automatically detects the color space it is in. So I'm going to the color page right now. And since it is a raw, I'm just going to remove all this stuff. Since it is raw, you can go to the raw palette to the left side tool palette and you can see the information over here. So it is automatically decoded using the project settings and decode using project. And the color science is Gen 5, white balance, color space. You can see it's V gamut and V log. Since we know it, uh, it has been shot in this uh, Panasonic S5, so automatically it detects. Let's say you want to change this stuff. I want to change, I want to keep it on my own. If you feel like that, you can always go to the settings and change your color science to DaVinci YRGB. It says, it says as project, you just need to come to the project and hit clip and you get all the details over here. If you want to change it to Gen 4 or Gen 5, you can change it. You can change your white balance, you can change your gamut over here uh, and gamma from here, from this point over here so it will be very useful for your workflow so i don't need it manual over here so for example this is a one clip so i can do it for each and every clip let's say i have hundreds and thousands of clips and i don't want to do it for each and every clip so for that color management is the best way to color manage your footages and you can select it and go to the color managed sdr or you can change it to hdr and sdr 709 and you can save it so it automatically takes this as V gamut and V log and it, it applies a basic color space to your footage. So, and you can start grading from here on. So for the people who like to grade from the log, yes, you can always do like you want, but this is also another way to make your, to get a look in a very faster way. So this is quite simple and straightforward. I mean grading. So that's all about the video assist recorded Blackmagic RAW content via Panasonic S5 and stay tuned. We will be coming up with more videos. Thank you and stay safe.